thank you for indulging me for just a couple more minutes of your time here at the end of the evening. Since it's my birthday, it's, you know, I just, I wanted to talk about something else that I love and do something that I should not do, and that is live code in public. Okay. So, my favorite thing, one of my favorite things is programming with my daughter, and we program with the framework called Shoes. It's a GUI program. Uh, GUI programming library, you can do a lot of cool drawing stuff. So what I've got set up here, I've got an empty file. This file, every time I switch over to this screen and hit enter, it's going to go load and run that file with whatever the contents are. And so I am going to show you how you can write a shoes application right in front of your eyes. Now imagine doing this with a kid. Now it's not going to take five minutes, but imagine this process and the creativity that you can have. All right, so simplest part of a shoes app is starting up. I happen to know that I'm going to want the width to be that and the height to be eh, about that. All right, that is the simplest shoes application, and there we go. All right, I want to draw a rocket ship. The top of the rocket ship is going to be blue. I want the top portion of it to be blue. All right, so I'm going to make an oval. I'm going to make it at x, y, width, height. So the x will be 150, so a little ways over, a little bit down, and then I'm going to say it's 150 by 150, and I'm going to fill it with blue. Yes, <laughs> drawing on a screen. OK, so that doesn't look like much of a rocket ship, so let's give this rocket ship a body. So 150 is going to be kind of our starting point there on the left. The height, I think, let's go with, oh no, we're going to want uh, 150 halfway down the circle. It's going to be, you can tell this is completely unprepared. I've never thought anything about this problem. But this is the sort of thinking that you can do with a kid. Like if a kid knows arithmetic and knows some numbers, like this is great. You can sit there and go, oh, what would happen if you add 10 to that? Or how many do you think you should add to that? All right, going to fill it with white, and let's go see. Starting to look a little like a rocket. I, I mean, kind of, vaguely. Yes? Really quick, how old's your daughter? I have a seven-year-old. She's seven. I started doing this with her when she was five. So this is a great thing to do. Now, I want to give this a little flair. We're going to give it 150. Rockets have, like, things on the body a lot of the time, sometimes text, sometimes stripes and things. So we're going to go, eh, let's go down sometimes to the Sometimes they have O-rings. Yeah, something kind of like that. And we'll fill it with black. OK, so that starts looking a little bit like. All right, so we need some fins on this baby. We're going to go to 100. So we're going to be further over to the left. Um, we're going to go way down towards the bottom, and we're going to say make that about 55 wide and about 50 high, and we'll fill it with red. And I think I made a mistake. All right, so that needs to be eh, another 50 down. So there we go. All right, starts to look a little rocket-like. Let's go make a fin on the other side. We'll start this about. 299 right under there. All right, so now we have a rocket. Now, this is not much of a rocket since it's just sitting still. So let's go and have some fun with it. So Shoes has some basic animation. You can say every and then give it an increment of time. And this block will run every however long you give it, right? So let's go and let's draw something. We're going to draw a rectangle. It's going to be very narrow rectangles. We're going to draw the flames coming out of the bottom of the thing. We're going to randomize this a little bit. And Ruby gives us some great things with the range operators. So we can say, give me a random x between 150 and 300. So that's going to be at the bottom of our stuff. Uh, we're going to want to be right at the bottom for the beginning of all the flames. They're all going to start right there. Width-wise, you know, we're going to want them to be a few pixels, but not too many. So let's just say 1 to 5. And then for the length, you know, a couple hundred at most. So we'll go random there. And we will fill it with red. And we'll also make the stroke red. So that is the uh, exterior cycling. And it's not quite at the spot I wanted. Should probably be 
another 50 further down, right? Much better, but a little slow, all right? So let's just do that 10 times every time we do one of those. Now we're getting a little, a little better. And last but not least, just red is boring. We want some different colors. So we'll type those, sample that, and we'll replace red with color. All right, and now animation. Wow. All right. Imagine sitting down with some kid in your life and having fun for an hour doing this. Shoes is awesome. Thank you. <laughs>